So why is it that people nowadays, this 2024, we don't go to church? Hey, baby, for sure. Hey, so th look, this is this is a topic, man. I want you to tell me, my main man Mitch, why don't people go to church anymore? What what's the thing now? You remember when like when we were younger and you know when we were younger, we were forced to go. You know, you got to force that word and I don't like we gotta, we gotta force that word to them, you know, and, and I get it, it's guidance. It's, ke it's keeping them on the right path or whatever and keeping them structured and having something to do that's positive on Sunday or Wednesday night Bible study or Friday. Yeah. Practice, whatever it is. <laughs> so why is it that people nowadays, this 2024, they don't go to church? Kane, that's a, that's a, a big, broad question. Mm -hmm. uh, many different reasons. Let's just say this right here, my opinion. Okay, people are not being raised up in the church like they used to. You you said something about being forced, which I don't like, uh, but we had to go to church, you know. Parents made us go to church. And then if your parents didn't make you go to church, your grandmama coming over here to pick y'all up to go to church. You was gonna get that. I'm talking about, I'm from the South, so that happened. Mm -hmm. And that still happens today, yeah. but now uh, some of the grandmoms are so young now and don't have, they're not displaying that wisdom because we got grandmoms now that's that's out in the club with everybody else mm -hmm. on Saturday night. They ain't going to church. So I think that's that's one reason. So not being raised so uh, age in the church. Age is a factor. I, I won't just say age. No, I'm not just saying age. Mm -hmm. I'm just giving the, uh, I'm just trying to paint the picture where the grandmamas of our day, they were older. Mm -hmm. You did seek some guidance and some wisdom from them. And now, 2024, we do have younger ladies, grandma, some of them say grandma, all of that, that still act like they're, in their uh young adult phase let's say that mm -hmm. if you understand what i'm saying mm -hmm. all right uh so i think that's a reason now uh the older generation is passing is uh you know they're dying out or whatever so who's gonna help these younger kids go to church or take them to church they're not being forced uh, so, so i got a question for you then if you, cause you, you, you and I won't say force. You got me saying yeah, force, but, but you keep mentioning about the woman, grandma. You're not yeah. mentioning grandpa or dad. Well, grandma, grandpa. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, no. Okay, hey, yeah, let's hey, go, man. I mean, you, you're mentioning women that's forcing the kids to go. Thank you for pointing that yeah, out because Kane. you never once mentioned oh. grandpa. So you know, back in the day, grandpa, Hopefully. grandpa never really went. The, the church are full with women. Cain, okay, thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> and I, you know what? And I will say this, and salute to my ladies this time uh. Um, <laughs> for being, I will say, an anchor in, in, in the household because, unfortunately, that is a true statement that you made, and I wasn't even aware of that. I was just saying, Grandma, grandma all the time that's what we're yes it's some granddads we have some deacons in the church yeah, but it, that say you okay your get hand. your butt up you can, and go you can count them on your hand how many men that are in that in that church I'm, even in the congregation man, there's a few guys that's up there doing the uh choir or whatever but other than that in that congregation it's mostly women it's unfortunate it's unfortunate Kane. why are people it's don't go to church so are men just kind of straying away from church more likely, because if you go to church right now, you'll probably see a bunch of women in the congregation. Not not part of the pulpit and all that, but just I'm talking about just the people that's going to church, not joining the church, but just going. Well, in some churches, that's that's a true statement, Kane. In my mm -hmm. old church in Jacksonville, Florida, is not many men. 
unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. There's not many men at all. Yeah. Why? But sometimes the pastor will have to do everything. Mm-hmm. Everything. And that's very unfortunate. I, I don't have a, a good answer for that. Um the the men, you seem like some of them are falling by the wayside, uh, are doing other things. Or why are the women going then? To get spiritual. Oh, yeah, in I life. know, I know that part. I, I'm saying, why is it that the women are going to church, but the men are straying away from it? If it's not that many men that are going in general, but Kane, I, I would say this, and because even if even if they were brought up in it, even if there was a grandma that was taking the little boys, but when they become teenagers and adults, they kind of like straight away from it. Well, a it, couple of different reasons, Kane, okay. and I can only give my opinion. Okay. Uh, men, some men don't go because they don't believe in listening to the man preach, mm -hmm. speak. Mm -hmm. And saying that, and I have been to some churches where some preachers have preached and it seemed like they're just condemnation on men, which is unfortunate too. A mm -hmm. couple of sermons uh, I've been to and they was just condemning men and it seemed like that. Um, and a man wants to be his own leader. I agree with that. Too. I agree with and that. And that can go, but that can go in pride, Cain. Pride is a terrible thing. Mm -hmm. you know, he wants to be. Most men are. They can be prideful. I don't want no man telling me what I should do, mm -hmm. especially with my life and then the internal spirituality of my life. Mm. Okay. You know. Okay. Okay. And and we know that we 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 as men we all can do better um, in our lives and seek seek enlightenment well going to church it's not gonna and then they always want to take up money i don't heard this from yeah. a man you know that i don't talk yeah. to they always taking up money it's always a building fund <laughs> they want to take mm -hmm. take take and ties yeah. yeah i um i would say do you think that guys are not going because of the corruption that's in the church nowadays do you think that people are just not going because of, you know, mega churches and the way that that's portrayed? And then, um, you know, okay, let's, how, how let's are our money, on. how are our money is getting spent ties to uplift the uh, community and the uh, church, but they rolling around in the Cadillac. You know what I mean? Kane, one at a time. <laughs> you, you do one at a time. I'm just saying, um, bro. I'm saying, like, that's that's what people are looking at. It's like, this is a scam. Some people are looking at it like, like church is a scam. Well, church is not a scam. You might have some scammers within. Whoa. We say wolf in sheep's clothing. Oh, so they're, church is they not are a in, they're, they're in the uh, church? Like, the scammers are actually joined the church, and they're having positions in the church? Those are the scammers? Because anybody can go, anybody can walk through the door and sit down. And they, and they yes, can be a scammer. Yes, they yes. can be whatever, right? But I'm talking about right. the people that run it. Kane, it's, it's it's good and bad people everywhere. We all know that congregation. We are mature and we are adults. It's good and bad people everywhere in government at your job. We're talking about church, all though. walks of life. Just talking about church. I know, but I want to put Jay. Yeah. Just because we're talking about yeah. the church, we're going to incorporate everything. We're just trying to figure it. out. I'm trying to dig into the weeds. I'm digging into the yes. weeds and trying to figure mm -hmm. out why is it that people are not going to church nowadays? And I was just, I was just threw in men are not going or whatever. And that's a, that is a thing. And that was a thing when we were younger, men were not going. Yeah. My granddaddy didn't go. Right. They would go for occasions, uh -huh. you know? Yeah. Maybe Easter. Christmas, <laughs> Easter. Come on, we all know. Yeah. Everybody show up yeah. with a new pair of yeah. pants on or yeah. something. But they, they yes. Or Sunday. we going because grandmama. Yes. Yeah, yeah. you going there because such and such is going to be singing or such and such is going to be got a little uh, piece in the um, Easter play or whatever. You know, you go support yeah. and then, you, then you, you bone out. You don't even go no other time or whatever. You go get something to eat. <laughs> When they cook it on a yeah, Sunday, and then you ride yeah, out. Yeah, that's when you ride out, and then you have the um, how how it's a spectacle, 
it's a spectacle when it's Mother's Day versus Father's Day in the church. <laughs> Am I right or wrong? <laughs> I don't know about what you mean by a spectacle. Man. Okay. Oh man. I'm... <laughs> they go all out on Mother's Day. You can't but and I see why, because there's more women there. More Thank mothers. You. A lot of single mothers. Thank you. Because it will be a lot of husbands in there too for Mother's Day. You know? And they have all the men, you know, serve them and all of that. You you know how it is. Yes, <laughs> that's true. That's true. And sometimes yeah. you don't heard this statement. Uh-huh. Uh to find you a good wife, you can go to church. Men. Is that true? Sometimes. <laughs> yes. Sometimes. Yes. There's another stereotype always, that's out there too about <laughs> it is a stereotype, but you know, you can go. But I'm gonna tell you this. It, it church is not a place to be just going and trying to date sister that this, happens. sister Jackson, yeah. sister Lee, and all of that. Then it's wanna, messy. It can get messy. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to tell you this too, Kay. It's a lot of churches out there in some of the larger churches that have singles ministry, uh, teens ministry. Mm-hmm. Uh, k- kids are still going to church, but it's usually because they have parents that's into the church. Now, you always talk about the, the breakdown of society starts with the family. Families are not going to church like they used to. Seeking, because the church back in the day was one place that you can go to try to restart, rebuild your life. When everything else is falling down, you can't do anything else. I'm 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 gonna throw a scenario out at you. Congregation, okay. I want y'all opinion about this too, especially if you're listening to this in the comments, let us know. But there were times, especially when I was, uh, you know, in the military and I'm moving around, right? And when you move around, you got to find new things, find new barber, find new church, all these other things, right? So you do this <laughs> and and I'm looking for, you know, a new church, right? Like family mm-hmm. to new church, Whatever, we're going to try to find this out. And again, a spectacle. And I just, I went, I'll try this church. It was hooping and hollering, jumping around, sprinting down the uh, aisle. They were doing all kinds of stuff, right? And I was like, no, this is not for us. Let's go somewhere else, right? And then I go somewhere else. And then it's like, "Uh, what is this? Uh, What what are they talking about? How many times are you going to pass the uh, collection plate around, you know? It's like, where, where, where are we going with this or whatever, right? And, um, and and I just kept trying to find different places, find it. This is actually, this was so crazy. I think it was in maybe Pensacola, Florida or whatever when I was down there. And um, I want to say maybe even Texas too or whatever. But anyhow, uh, it was just like, oh, man, I don't even, I just, I just can't deal with it. I mean, there have been ones that I've been to in certain cities, uh, preferably in Charleston, South Carolina, when I was there. And, and it was like a peaceful type. They had everything going or whatever. And i never forget this one time that I was at, I, I, I was going to this church there in Charleston, South Carolina. And one of my, um, uh, at the time, uh, uh, I think roommate, I think it was my roommate. He's like, hey, man, you want to come to my church? What I said, yeah, I go to church. I go to his church. Oh, it was a small church, but I give benefit of that. That's fine. That's fine. It can be more intimate. That's fine. But yeah, they up there. Um, he was he was uh, playing the drums. I said, okay, okay. Yeah, he was playing the drums. Yeah, and, and okay. I see people getting up, and when they want, when the, uh, I think the pastor or something get up and run for the Lord. I was like, well, get up and run. Everybody get got up. I'm standing. I'm watching, and they sprinting around this uh, the pulpit. Uh, everybody okay. running. I said, what is he running for? What is this? What is this? What is, is this a mockery? What are we doing here? Why are we getting up running around acting a fool? That, that's how hey, I felt. Hey, gang, hold up. That's how I Time felt. That's how I felt. So, and then they were, they were acting crazy. They were doing all kind of crazy things. I was like, I kind of slid back out the, out the door and I went back to my church just so I could finish up at, at, um, at my church. And, and he oh, asked about, man, where'd you go, man? I said, yeah, man, it's a little bit not, not, not for me or whatever. So I okay. went on and, you know, went, 
Went back to my church and finished up the service there. Came late or whatever, whatever, you know, to put the finger up and try to find a seat. But yeah, I did mm-hmm. I did that. And then I was able to um, finish out the uh, service there. But I was like, man. And maybe some people have ran across this. Maybe this is the reason why oh, they think it's, they think it's, a, it's a show. Because we see it on the internet. People can probably look up on YouTube and find yes, people yes. dancing, acting crazy. Oh my goodness. Well, you can you can say they acting crazy because of well, you think it's a spirit like, it's so many different. Well, that's what they're gonna say. I'm, I'm asking I, I, you. Look, and I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm not judging. I, that, okay? This is not judgment. No. I just wanna. Uh, yeah. I want you to tell me they could be what in the is. spirit. That's that's in the spirit. What spirit. The Holy Ghost. What the ghost? Yes. The Holy Ghost. What the ghost? The Holy Ghost. The Spirit. Kane, <laughs> you're gonna stop it today. <laughs> Not the day, Satan. Hey, look, Cut look, it out. I just want to know. And let me tell you something. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let me tell you something. People, if you're looking for a church, especially if you're in Jacksonville, Florida, Eastside, Church of Christ, on A. Philip Randolph, try it out. Try it out. Yeah. Brother McClendon. I'm giving him a shout oh, out. Oh, hey, yeah. that's what's up. That's what's a up. A good church. Hey, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Because the ones I've had in the past... Okay, oh man, I went to one. I, th- I got another one, man. I went to one. They were, um, you know, they do the dancing. They, you know, they dancing, and you say it's a ghost in them, right? Okay, <laughs> Holy Ghost. Don't, don't, don't just say ghost, Kane. Stop playing with me, okay? <laughs> hey, nobody getting emotional. It's a little passion right here. I'm just saying, okay? You said it's a ghost in them, right? But they're, they're no, you know, Holy they're ghost. doing don't, it. Don't thing, say right? ghost. You say Holy Ghost. Come on, don't, don't, don't play like that. Let's go, Kane. All right, all right, all right, all right. So let's check, check this out. Check this out. So they're, they're doing their thing, right? And this one woman, she was, um, she was getting into it, and you know, they, the, the music is what get people emotional. Right, it brings emotion out. So if you're playing an organ, guitar, drums, you play it loud enough, and everybody's like, "Oh yeah, oh yeah," and so that's what get them going, right? They jam into the music, right? But you said it's a, it's a ghost in her. So she, what she did, she was dancing in front, okay. <laughs> in front of the. <laughs> look, look. When he said, "Come down," you know. <laughs> so you ain't gonna let me get it out, man. So go, go. So he said. Come down to the uh, altar or whatever. She comes down and she uh, says whatever she says. Bring her burdens to the altar. And she is catching it. She's doing this little thing, right? She's jumping. All right. So he was like, you know, let it out. Let it out. And she started jumping around. She was jumping around. What I didn't like, because they start playing music. Because <laughs> they know, it's, you know, it's time. It's time. So they hitting the, they hitting the uh, piano, the organ. She goes over there to the dude that's on the keyboard. And like he's just doing it. He's going. He knows what to do. That's the cue. So he's doing it. She falling all over. And then it's, no, 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 no. It's just messing up him. And I was like, somebody get her. Somebody get her off, of, off this dude. Because she laying all on him. And he trying to get her off of it. I said, what is this? A show. A show. And some people think, back to our question, some people think that it's a show or a scam. I think that that's well, why people are not going, because where where is the uh, fellowship that used to happen in there? And there may be some churches out there, I'm not saying all of them, because there may be some churches that are out there that are, you know, doing right by the people. They're, they're not, mis- they not misappropriating uh, funds that come in. It's me. Yeah. Many, yeah, many. but then you have some that are making it bad for all, right? Even in the uh, Catholic, where they, you know, with the, the yeah, yeah, we don't, yeah, yeah. yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's making it bad for all. Like, do you want to be that way? Do you, you know what I mean? Well, okay, and I think, and I will say this: I think people will always they will, you can always find a reason not to do something. So you think people are looking for reasons? Out. Yeah. Oh, yes. What you I just, just said. I, right I was there. looking for. No, I was looking no, for a church, yeah. not a reason, not to go. No, I know, I know, but I'm just saying. No, 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 no. That'll be somebody's uh, excuse, man. All of them bad. All of them corrupt. You know what, uh, Pastor Lee, Pastor whatever did back there. I heard he messing around with somebody, wife and all. People will find reasons for this. Still seek. 
you a church. You can talk to people uh, if somebody invites you. That's how a lot of people find the church. Hey, you ain't doing nothing. You want to come to my church and and check it out, see if you like it or not. You know, mm-hmm. we done had a little uh, episode where we was talking about yep, that. Yep how we, we go. And that's, you know, mm-hmm. that's how I was, you know, brought to the church that I was, Hey, come on, let's check it out. See what's up. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm. I felt like it was speaking to me. I liked everything that was going on. Made me want to come back, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. So that that's all I'm saying, you know, but we always find a reason, you okay. know, you just got to look past. Those is, it, is it a reason or is it an excuse? Cause a reason is legitimate. Excuse is just don't want to go. An excuse. Because if a reason, uh, if if I'm going to these different churches in this community that I live in, and I'm trying this one out, oh Lord, yeah. and this one is similar to this one, and then this one is similar to this one, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. <sighs> Let me go online or something, because that's what people are doing now. They find something yeah. online that's you know not all the hoopla and not all that you say getting the Holy Ghost right. So they're not getting the Holy okay, Ghost. You said yeah. it. Okay. <laughs> you, you want me to put holy in front of it, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, you, you know, know what, what? You know what? <laughs> y'all see that? Y'all get on his butt, okay? Get on his butt. <laughs> let me know. Let me know how you feel about this pause, congregation. Pause, all of that. Yeah. <laughs> let, hey, look. Let Let me know how y'all feel about this. I mean, um, in the comments. I mean, do you think that? Uh, what's your reason why people are not going to church nowadays? Um, is it more atheists out there that don't believe in God or is it, um, you know, they think it's a scam, uh, a lot of, uh, corruption is going on in the church. Uh, do you think that, you know, there's a lot of, uh, drama and, you know, cause some people, you know, they take advantage, especially some of these pastors are taking advantage of women because remember we talked about women is uh, the number one, you know, uh, people that right, go right. to church. So these guys are are catching these women at a vulnerable state and they're taking advantage of women. And that happens. That happens. It's, it's not, it's not like it stopped. It's not like it was a trend at one point in time. It's still going to this day. There are, there are pastors out there that's, you know, taking advantage of women and they're vulnerable. Okay. State. But not all. I said that. All. I didn't say all. Do you want they me to are, say all? I know. I know. I don't want, <laughs> no, I, but I don't want our congregation. No. No, no, okay. no, 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 no. To be swayed no, I'm not, by that. I'm not, no, I'm not swaying you no speak. different way because you can have your own yeah. perception. Just go to one that's in your your neck of the woods, you know? Just go check them out. Yes. Just see how they are. Is oh, it a yeah. fellowship or is it, you know, a sponsorship? You know what I mean? Because... Ooh, boy, <laughs> they, that's powerful. You can cut that. Is it a fellowship or a sponsorship? <laughs> Come on. Because I've heard... Yeah. It's interesting that he said mm-hmm. that because I've heard of churches wanting to know your bank information. Yeah off the top yeah. those some mega churches mm-hmm. and to me that is wrong yeah yeah that is wrong yeah yeah okay. yeah it is it is man what are we there for yeah you're supposed to be there to fellowship and like minds and talk about the goodness and uh what god has done and what yes. and what god can do for you not to I'm not to do any, any of these other things that, <laughs> that they are doing with your money and everything else because you see how they come out there Kane, go on and hit us with won't he? Go on and hit us with won't he do it? I mean, I know. Won't he do and it? I, hey, stop! Hey, that final thoughts, man. My final thought <laughs> is, um, don't be discouraged. I say, don't be discouraged. Yes. Even though yes. I was discouraged at a point in time in my life or whatever, if that's something that you want to do, and you feel like you need to be uh, fellowshipping uh, with like minds at a church or whatever the case may be. Or join a church and just be, you know, with people that are, you know, thinking like you. Go ahead, try them out and see where you're, where you fit, where you lie, or whatever. Don't, don't be discouraged. Don't, you know, uh, try not to uh, just say give up and, you know, if that's what you want to do. And some people do it online, so you can do it too, you know, because you you don't necessarily have to be there. You just gonna get uh, the word, right, Mitch? We're gonna get the word. And then we're gonna go back and reread and reread. This is what this is Mitch's word. We reread and we get a better understanding. You'll get that from uh oh, if you if you've been following us, you'll know what I'm talking about from our old uh episode. He liked the brain. <laughs> That's classic pain. Okay. Go now, ahead, bro. I would just say, just like he said, yeah. Go to different churches and see 
where you're led and how it speaks to you, okay, spiritually. And then you go from there. Um, is there good churches and bad churches out there? Yes, it is, okay? But you have to discern, okay? You pray about it, and then you go forth. Um, you will be led, and it'll be one of his words. It'll be revealed unto you, all right? That's it. <laughs> That's it, bro. That's the uncomfortable truth. Hey, That's my dog. <laughs> yeah. Deacon Bishop Kane. Let's go. Do something. Oh, baby. For sure. Do it again, bro. You know, if you don't want to see us, but you want to just listen to us, we on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, all of them. All of them. 